TikTok update, we're naked. Uh, the suspension is all off. We pulled the transmission. I ended up just using a cherry picker and got it out of there somehow, mostly by myself. Had to end up getting a little help trying to level it um, to hold it out of there so it didn't drop it. I just ended up pulling this crossbar to pull it out of there. Pulled all of the suspension off front and rear. The rear took a while, a couple hours probably just to pull the rears. The fronts were really easy, less than 15 minutes. Have them all laid out here. Those are both your rears, suspension, brakes. And then those are your fronts. The fronts were easy there. I was able to keep them all together. And then obviously in the back, you've got swing arms and stuff in the way. Just had to disconnect the steering, pulled them out. Uh, when I was pulling the transmission, the transmission was a bitch. Took a while, probably a couple hours. These threaded rods were holding it in in the bottom and really nothing holds it from the top. Still haven't figured out how that happens. I ended up having to cut the one on the left here. And I'm gonna have to replace that somehow. It's like a five ace fine that I think that they just made into a bolt somehow by welding a nut to the top of it. So pulled the transmission, got all of the suspension off. Now the plan for later this week is to hopefully flip it over and coat the bottom, which they recommend. I'm starting to wonder why, I guess. It seems like a lot of work for really no reason. I pulled off all of the access panels. You can see in here, there's the fuel tank now. You've got a fuel tank on both the left and the right, so it's a dual fuel setup. A lot of the guys who run fuel injection spend a lot of time figuring out their fuel plumbing, but since I'm carbureted, uh, much to the chagrin of a lot of people on here who wished I was running a Coyote, I'm just gonna have an AB tank switch. So just like an old school pickup truck, I'll have a tank one, tank two, just gonna mount a toggle on the dash. There's your update on the GT40 project from race car replicas, trans out, sitting next to the stroker motor. Naked little chassis.